Okay, so let's see if you can figure out the answer to this simple geometry question. Now, a lot of you are looking at the graph and you might be saying, this doesn't seem simple. It seems very complicated. It's not that bad. So let me explain the problem. And the problem uh, says, find TU if SV is equal to 30. All right, so this little line above TU means find the distance from point T to point U. So this is what we're looking for. So here's point T and here is point U. We want to find the distance between T and U. So that is the question. But we're being told that the distance from point S to point V is 30 units. So here's point S and here's point V. So from here to here, that's 30 units. But we have some additional information here as well. And that is from point S to point U, that's 18 units. And from point T to point V, that's 18 units. All right, so uh, hopefully uh, this is pretty straightforward now. And uh, again, I think a lot of you that may uh, not know much geometry, you know, don't get uh, too bothered with this notation. Hopefully you understand the problem. Again, what we're looking for is the distance between point T and point U. All right, now this is a multiple choice question, and let's take a look at our choices. So A is 4, B is 5, C is 6, and D is 7. All right, now if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'm going to fully explain how easy it is to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, here's the problem. We're looking for the distance between T and U. And uh, feel free maybe to pause the video and study what's going on. You're certainly not just going to look at a one, two, three and figure it out. Well, maybe some of you uh, might. But uh, let's take a look at the right answer right now. The correct answer is C, six units. All right. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100% and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of calculating distance on a number line. And that is the big clue here is you want to think about two things. The first is a number line. So this was a, this is a line, but if we think of it as a number line, this is going to be quite easy. So for example, if we think about point S being located at zero, well, what's the location of U on this number line? Well, if S is at zero, 18 units away from S is point U. So maybe this is 18. All right, so if you think in these terms, you're going to be uh, well on your way to figuring this problem out. But we also need to talk about another concept called absolute value. But we're going to get into all of this right now. Okay, so here is our problem. Now, let's suppose you're a math student and you uh, come across this problem on a math test. And you're like, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm totally lost. Well, you know, what should I do? Well, just take a guess. You should always guess unless you're going to get penalized. Never, ever, ever leave uh, questions blank, particularly uh, multiple choice questions blank on any exam. You have one out of a four chance, you have a 25% uh, uh, chance of getting this right. So, you know, maybe you're like, well, this looks kind of small. Maybe it's four. Well, listen, that's a great guess. But unfortunately, it's wrong. But uh, nevertheless, at least you took a chance. All right. So how are we going to figure this out? Well, well remember, the problem is we need to find the distance between TU and we need a strategy. And that strategy Again, is to think of these points as locations uh, uh, locations on a number line. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, see what that looks like right now. All right, so here is our problem. And again, if uh, you just solved this problem and didn't know any um, geometry, you're not going to understand the problem unless you understand the notation, the geometric notation here. And this is stuff that you learn in kind of, you know, basic geometry course. So that's why I'm explaining it to everyone. So you are not, you know, basically, you know, uh, you know, confused about what's going on here because of the notation. I don't want the notation uh, here to stop anyone. But I want to talk about a really important concept because we are talking about distance and that is absolute value. So let me uh, go ahead and just draw something here real quick. 
So here's zero on the number line, and here is positive three. All right, let me actually make this a bit bigger, and let's see how much you know about distance. All right, so here's zero, here's three, and here's negative three. So my question to you is, what's the distance between zero and positive three on this number line? All right, so again, what is the distance between zero and positive three on this number line? Well, if you said, well, Mr. YouTube Math Man, the answer is obvious, it's three. Well, you would be 100% correct. The distance between zero and three is three units away. It just kind of makes sense, right? All right, well, how about the distance between zero and negative three? All right, so what's the distance there? Now, be careful. Now, some of you might be saying, well, how about negative three, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, that's not right. Okay, the answer is also three units. Now, imagine if you had like a tape measure or a ruler and you just kind of measure from zero out to three, whatever distance this is, it's the same distance in the opposite direction. Okay, it's where the distance is the same. So distance typically is going to be thought of, uh, generally speaking, in, a, in terms of positive values, all right? And what we're talking about here is the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative three uh, means what is the distance between negative three and zero on a number line that's positive three. That's why the absolute value of a negative number is positive, and the absolute value of a positive three is also three. All right, now, can we have negative distances? Well, yes, you can. Uh, I'll give you one simple example. Let's say this is the ocean, all right, sea level, and here's a lovely maybe submarine down here. So maybe the submarine is uh, negative 100 feet, okay, maybe like 100 feet below sea level. So you can have negative distance, uh, but that typically will indicate direction. But in general, okay, particularly these type of problems in geometry, distance is going to be positive. So to make sure your distance uh, is positive, we want to think in terms of the absolute value of uh, numbers. Okay, so with that being uh, said, let's see if we can figure out how to um, solve this problem. All right, so I'm going to give you a big clue right here. We want to think of this as a number line, and let's start with point S being at uh, zero. Okay, so if this is zero, what, again, uh, what's the location of point U? Well, hopefully you're like, well, let's see here. Uh, this is 18 units away from uh, S, so U to S is 18 units. How about maybe 18? Well, that's totally correct, all right? So if you understand that, and we know SV is equal to 30, well, we can kind of you know, reason through this simple problem. Matter of fact, let's uh, kind of upgrade our graph here so we include this really important piece of information, which is from point S to V, that's equal to 30. So let's add that in, and this is what we have right now. Okay, so from S to V, that's 30 units. We know that S, we're gonna think of that as uh, zero. We know um, point U here, we can think of as 18. What do you think point V is, right? Well, hint, hint, you might be thinking, oh, I know what it is, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, that's great. So if you know what point V is, well, what is point T? Well, isn't uh, point T located 18 units behind uh, point V? Well, hopefully you can kind of see where I'm going here. So if you're saying, oh yes, I know what to do, well then pause the video and calculate the answer. But uh, let's go ahead and put all this information together. And again, we're, we're going to think of this uh, as a number line situation. So S would be zero, uh, U is at 18, V, point V here, is 30 units away from point S. So indeed, this would be 30. All right, so we have uh, zero, uh, 18, and 30. And going back over here to this diagram, we know that T is located 18 units away from point V, which is, of course, 30. So we can easily find that by subtracting 18 from 30. That's where point T is going to be. But remember, we want to emphasize that this is going to be positive, so we're going to put the absolute value um, around 30 minus 18. Okay, just in case you go 18 minus 30, all right, you're going to get a negative number there. Matter of fact, you'll get negative 12. That's not the right answer, so we're going to put absolute value to indicate distance. So this a point here from point T is what? It's 12. And hopefully you're like, oh, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know exactly how to find the distance now between point T and point U. All right, so let's take the next step, which, of course, is have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't you just love the way I kind of throw that in? Well, I need to stop these videos because this is super important. 
Now, of course, it's important to me personally, but uh, really it's important for my goal. And my goal is to reach as many people as possible. You see, as a math teacher, I'm happiest when I'm actually helping people learn math. And the more people I'm helping, well, the happier I actually am. And I can't grow this channel unless I get people like yourself saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'll subscribe if you uh, kind of shut up and continue on with the problem. And I'm, you know, I say, you know what, I think that's a pretty good deal. So I'm going to quickly move on. But if you're going to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. And thank you very much. And let's finish up this little problem. And now we see that this is pretty straightforward. All right, so S is at zero, T is uh, 0.12 on a number line, U is 18, and V is 30. So if I asked you with this information, what's the distance between T and U? Uh, you would say, oh, I know what that is. It's gonna be 12 minus uh, 18. Now, notice what I just said there. I said 12 minus 18. Well, if you take 12 minus 18, you're gonna end up with a negative value, negative six. So if this wasn't a multiple choice question, I guarantee you many people would answer with negative six, which would be incorrect, right? We're talking about distance, so you have to have the absolute value around that, or you gotta make sure that your um, the order which you're subtracting is correct. So to avoid any errors in sides, we just put the absolute value around 18 minus 12, and of course that is a positive six, and that is our answer. All right, so hopefully this was a good little basic geometry problem. And a lot of you out there uh, that may have not taken geometry or maybe took it many, many years ago, uh, the big deal in this particular problem is just to kind of understand the notation, right? Like, oh, fine, TU of SV equals 30. You know, if you don't know the notation, obviously this is going to look complex. So remember, math is a language. And like any language, if we don't know what the words mean or, you know, uh, the verbs, the nouns, and whatnot, it's going to be confusing. But again, this stuff isn't that complex. So anyways, you know, if you are interested in learning more geometry and learning more about uh, geometric, uh, geometric notation, I have a couple of great deals for you before we finish up this video. So two things. Uh, one, you'll find in uh, the description of this video a link to my full geometry course, right? So if uh, those of you that are actually taking maybe like a high school level geometry course, that's the course for you. And I have another course out there called Math Skills Rebuilder. That uh, particular course is for those of you that are not math students, but you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I kind of want to relearn all that math uh, I forgot 30, 40, 50 years ago. Well, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. In that course, I cover basic math, algebra, geometry, even some basic trigonometry and probability and statistics. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.